Hey guys, how's it going? This is Jake Lures from August Burns Red. You're watching Behind the Ink on pitcam.tv. Hey, I'm Monica with Pitcam, and I'm here with Jacob from August Burns Red. Hey. Hey, how's it going? He's going to tell us a little bit about his tattoos. Yeah, um, so I started when I was 19 years old. This is my first tattoo that I ever got. And it's still, to this day, one of my favorites that I have. Um, and I really had no idea that I was going to end up covered. Um, and, yeah, I think I just got my knuckles done. Uh, Your Life, um, Forgiven, which has a lot to do with my faith. Um, I believe we all have a life to live and we all have purpose. Um, and I found my purpose in my relationship with God. And um, through that relationship, I've realized that uh, I can, you know, live for him and live for myself and um, be forgiven of the things that I do in my life that are, uh, you know, mistakes or things that um, I do wrong because uh, I'm not perfect. But um, so then I got this here, my hand tattoo, and this is, uh, this is representing my dad in heaven. Uh, which is a big lion with a with a crown, um, and then I've got my. I'm pretty proud of this sleeve. I think this is. I don't know. It was a lot of pain, a lot of hours, um, but basically it's an ocean, which is the world, uh, and then there's sharks that are just um, having a killing frenzy. You see a couple hands, some legs, in there just going to town, um, and so that's kind of like to me. For, for me personally, it's like the ocean is the world. The sharks are like, you know, sin or evil, like darkness in our lives that are trying to attack us. And then there's, a, it's not finished, but there's a boat with an angel, the boat of salvation, drawing people out of the out of the water and leading them to the ship of life, which for me is God, which is Christ. And then up here, I need to shave, but up here is a, a, a lighthouse, which is, uh, which is heaven. So um, this means a lot to me. As far as just um, what personally, like my life, what I've gone through, and and what um, where I've been, and then what I believe in, um, which is important to me, because if I didn't believe in God, I think um, I'd be a much different person than I am today. And so I'm thankful for that relationship. Uh, so obviously you can see that because it's tattooed all over my body. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I have um, this anchor I got when I was. 20 years old um, and basically what that meant to me was never letting anything um, hold you down you know that you know obviously an anchor uh, when thrown over sea um, for a ship it keeps it stable in, in one place and anchors it down so that it can't move and I think that is I think that that's a bad place to be I think that we're not meant to just sit we're not meant to just stay in one place in our lives. We're meant to grow, live, move, um, take risks, um, be willing to sacrifice things, be, be willing to be stretched, um, you know, learn from your mistakes, um, run, run from, you know, um, addiction in your life or to uh, go and tackle your dreams and the desires of your heart. Um, but if you let certain things in your life, maybe things in your past, addictions, pain, suffering, divorce, whatever, you know, broken heart, um, that can be an anchor in your life to keep you where it wants you to be. But um, if you can overcome those things and realize that, you know, hey, you know, let's say you drink a lot, you know, you drink every day. It's like, okay, I'm drinking every day and I wake up and I don't have the ambition or motivation. My brain isn't clear. You know, I'm not, I'm not really reaching for what I, what I really want in my heart. You can start to see that alcohol in your life is an anchor um, that it's, that it's keeping you down. So maybe you want to, um, you know, not have that in your life. Uh, that personally is something I'm saying out of an example because I've experienced it myself, not so much that I'm just telling you a story. Um, but yeah, you know, to me, honestly, uh, I wasn't raised, uh, in a relationship with Jesus, but, um, I found that relationship when I was 21 and I wanted to commit suicide and he really changed my life around. So, um, and another thing is that God's never abandoned me. I've been abandoned by many people in my life, but um, 
God hasn't abandoned me. And, and I know that people go, you know, okay, God, you know, uh, that's a joke, or I'm um, glad that you have an imaginary friend. But it's not, you know, and people look for proof in God. And um, I believe in God not because I see him, but because I know him. Um, and he's done more for me in my life than anyone else has. And, again, he's never abandoned me. So I, I really wanted to, you know, honor him by having, uh, by having him on my, on my body. In, in a lot of different places, there's uh, Jesus. Again, this is this is representation of God. Um, but uh, yeah, and then this one here is um, dedicated to my wife, Chris. Uh, I call her um, my rose. So there's a big rose back there, and she's the key to my heart. And then this is the Bible, which is the foundation of our moral morals and values, um, and I think that's uh, this. This is a, a dove for the Holy Spirit, and then I have my chest done, which it says "Live by the Live by the Spirit." Um, and that to me is, you know, I wake up every day and it's like, okay, who am I going to be? Um, what kind of man am I going to be today? Am I going to be a man who follows my selfishness, uh, my pride, my um, my ambition, my goals, what I want in my life, or am I going to try to live by the Spirit, which is um, to live and walk in gentleness and in joy um, and, and treat people with kindness um, and love, you know, and, and be willing to give and be willing to sacrifice for other people. Uh, so that's a good message that I like to wake up to every morning. Um, and then the last one that I'll show you guys is uh, this is a joke, well, not a joke, a friendship tattoo from my friends in, uh, in San Diego, California. Um, and it's called VPDQ which is uh, Village Park Delinquents, and it's just a small group of dudes who I love very much with, with my heart and uh, um, built a relationship with them many, many years ago. And they all had this lip tattoo, and probably the fifth time I went to their house, they're like, look, you got to get this tattoo. And I'm like, I don't even live in Village Park. I've never even been a part of this thing. I don't even know what it is, what it means. And they just convinced me to do it, so here it is. And that this little corner thing that looks like a house. <laughs> what yeah, is that? It's supposed to be a cupcake, but it melted. So it looks just like a little, it looks trashy. Why a cupcake? Um, because they, my nickname with them was Cup Jake. Oh, okay. So they call me Cup Jake. So I just got a <laughs> cupcake. Really stupid, very, you know, whatever. Every time I see one of those, I always wonder, does it hurt? It does. It fe well, it feels like... You ever put your hand out and someone just put ice cubes on your hand and you just let it sit there? And then it starts to just burn like all crazy? <laughs> That's what it felt like. But, you know, there's really not much room here. So it's like 30 seconds, you know? Yeah. So it's it's worth it, I think. So it's a completely different feeling than having yeah. your skin. Mm -hmm. Definitely. You feel like they're just going to rip your lip completely off your mouth. How, how long does it take to heal? Well, so the mouth, mouth heals. Yeah, the mouth heals really, really quickly. Yeah. So, it, like a night, oh, a day. Really? Yeah, it was super quick. Do you have any plans to make a full sleeve out of that? Or is yeah, I want to put something here, um, and then you know, just something in the background to keep it going. And then I kind of want to um, do some more on my chest, uh, and I'm sure I'll get more. I mean, I just I love tattoos, and I love that I can you know, honor things in my life or chapters or seasons or people or, you know, uh, my relationship with God on my body. And, um, you know, I don't think that's for everybody. I don't think that everyone should go out and get a bunch of tattoos. I think you really need to think about it before you get them because, yeah, I mean, they're, they're on your body for the rest of your life. And so it's got to be something that you're really, truly committed to and that you really have a passion or um, relationship with, you know. I think that's important. Um, but if you're that kind of guy that's like crazy off the wall, likes to have a few drinks and then get Tasmanian devil on your butt, whatever, dude, whatever works. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna judge you. You know what I mean? But you get a lot of pictures of ABR tattoos. Tons, tons, and it's every time like every they don't get old. You know, like it doesn't get old to see. Um, like this guy came up to me and he's like, "Hey man, can you write a lyric down for me and your, you know, write it down and then sign it?" And I was like, "Yeah, sure, no, no problem." So I did it. I gave it to him and then. Like two months later, you know, we, we went back into his town. I was like, 
He's like, hey, man, do you remember me? I was like, yeah, I do. He's like, do you remember when you wrote that lyric and you signed it for me? I was like, yeah, I do. He, so he lifts up his leg, and on his calf is, like, the, my lyrics and my handwriting and my signature, you know? And it's like, what? Like, <laughs> like, what did I really do to deserve that? You know what I mean? Like, I wrote some lyrics in my bedroom, probably about some crap I was going through, and put it on a record. And it's like, that's the power of music, you know? It's, it's, it's so powerful. Um, it has so much, it can have so much authority in your life mm -hmm. to where you get a dude's touch. Like, he doesn't know me, you know? He doesn't know my family. He doesn't hang out with me on, on Friday nights or anything. Like, um, but, you know, seeing tattoos of the lyrics and things, it really, honestly, it just shows me that I'm doing something right, you know? And because our lyrics are positive, if it was negative, I'd probably quit the band, you know? Like, I, I choose to write lyrics that are, that are going to encourage, uplift, and inspire, you know, the listeners. And so when they get that lyric tattooed on them, and they're like, dude, this really helped me get through this, um, that makes me feel great, and I'm humbled to see it. And it just shows me that I'm, I'm on the right path.